the second coming of Christ. The Gospel, according to Matthew in chapter 25, gave us this um, image, this metaphor of a king coming and on his throne and full glory. And, and this king, the Son of Man, will judge the righteous and the wicked. A text that is used for the Sunday of the reign of Christ. And it's part of the imagery or in our mind uh, of this Christ that has gone to heaven and will return in full glory. It's part of our um, this judgment. It's part of the Apostle Creed. It's part of our liturgy, our communion liturgy. You know, when we say Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. You know, in some sort of distant future, some would say, other will say, well, the second coming and the judgment day is about to happen, repent. Well, maybe, maybe there will be something like a final judgment. But as we look in Matthew 25, we have this, this verse that said, Truly I tell you, just I did to the one of the least of those who are member of my family, you do it to me. And it comes to us. Maybe we, this return of second coming and all of this, Maybe you got it wrong. Maybe Christ has died. Maybe Christ has risen. Maybe Christ has came again and again and again and again. Maybe the second coming is now. That Christ is currently dwelling among us as we speak and is present and those we meet every day. And we think of this, he said, wow, what an amazing good news. We have Christ that is not like up there in the sky and in heaven and looking over us. No, Christ dwell among us <laughs> and share our human condition and this share what we do and, and what we experience every day. He said, wow, what, what close relationship gave us us. And in the same time, yikes. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> because, we, you know, Jesus, the, 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 the story in Matthew says, you know, when you feed the hungry, you did it to me. You visited those in prison, healed the sick. Okay, it's in the way how we behave to one another, the relationship we have with one another, that speaks of a relationship with Christ. Ouch! Because there's good part we do, but what about the least of them? You know, uh, what about the homeless person? in the downtown of our city that most of the time we walk by and we the last thing we want is to have eye contact with them could it be Christ what about if Christ showed up at the doorstep of our church or our home and he's not the tall blonde guy with blue eyes that we often see and picture books and Sunday school classes, but I don't know, a trans person, a CEO of a large multinational company that have sweatshop in other country. What is if it is one of our elected officials? What if it's, it's a Muslim? What we will see is said, oh, no, 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 Jesus, you, you, you cannot go there. You cannot be that person. You had to fit my understanding who Christ is. Or Christ is in the least of these. And it's a huge challenge for us, that statement. 
because it it forces us to look at us and look at the way we behave, the way we treat other, what we say in front or in the back of someone else. And as we slowly walk toward Advent, a time set aside to prepare ourselves for the celebration of the incarnation of the divine in one single life, what will be our answer? We say, well, that's, that's a great news. You know, Jesus came and God, you know, made man, you know, or human person. I don't remember the, the, uh, the quote for the M, but that's the point. Incarnation, God becoming one of us. But, and I think we get used to this image of the baby Jesus, of the Jesus in the movie. What about Christ and one another? And that's the challenge. I believe that the text asks us. I believe that our faith said, okay, lip service is great. Helping our faith is great. What about the least of those who are member of my family? And understood here, God's family is every human being. God is not Catholic or Protestant or God's supposed to love. Every human being. That's what we believe. Well, if Christ is in front of us, how will we react? And I hope you will try to discover this in the next few days, next few weeks. As we walk toward Christmas. And until then, I remain Reverend Stéphane Bermet. I'm the lectionary man. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye bye.